My all-time favorite movie in the entire universe is 300. Not the 300 Spartans from 1962, not the weird parody, not Rise of an Empire, that sequel that was terrible. No, the OG 300 movie with Gerald Butler on the front, the original 2006 release. Now, I like a lot of movies, especially ones with gore, action, and combat. Very sadistic-based movies. Starship Troopers, Black Hawk Down, The Devil's Rejects, Natural Born Killers. Those are the kinds of movies that I tend to enjoy, but 300 hit completely different, and I'm going to explain entirely why. But I have this unusual superpower with the movie because I've watched it so much, and I'm going to go over my first experiences with the movie, which was at a midnight showing in a movie theater just full of drunk frat boys. It was the best movie experience I've ever had, and that's not why it's my favorite movie. The movie itself is my favorite, but the experience has not been topped at all. But this is literally the only movie that I can say word for word, line for line, scene by scene, without looking at it from memory, and I have a terrible sporadic memory. I can't even remember people's names that I've worked with for like 10 years in retail. And yes, I'm a simple man. I like movies with sword fights, action, killing, combat, boobs, monsters, musical scores. And this movie, it makes you feel manly. It literally, it buffs you like an MMORPG with testosterone. After watching this the first time at the theater, everyone was super pumped up like I've never seen before. They were kicking each other in the chest and hooting and hollering and screaming and giving out guttural, like, battle cry yells like they were a Spartan themselves. It's insane how much this movie just inspires people. It, like, rallied up football teams in the years ahead. It, it was just, a like, a motivational movie that just really pumps you up, makes you want to just go to the gym and just tear it up. Just It, it just empowers you. I'm a big complainer, but I cannot complain one bit about this movie. I think it has the perfect music score, the pacing, the action, the combat, the character's backstory. Everything is just phenomenal in my perspective. And I don't know why I've never really felt this way from any movie before, but 300 just does it for me. And I know a lot of people don't like this movie. They think it's stupid or they, they don't like the story or it's not historically accurate or whatever the heck. But I think it's just a masterpiece. Like if I was isekai'd back in time, you know, if I if I woke up one day as a six year old again and had to relive life over again, I'm going to find a way to just be a bad background character in this movie somehow some way that would be like my goal as if I got a restart which is really silly to say but I like it that damn much it is one of the manliest movies to ever exist the movie opens with child violence <laughs> I'm not even kidding like like it's got children bashing each other in the face the narration is just next level and just the messages that the movie brings. There's no like hidden agendas. There's no weird political crap. It's literally just telling you never retreat, never surrender. It builds a sense of trust in your family, your clan, your tribe, your fellow brothers in arms. It's just magnificent. And even the intro speaks to me like the Agogi. It teaches the boy to fight. Well, growing up in the ghetto in these public schools, I was constantly having to fight other people. So I went through my own little version of the Agogi. Goge. Is it a goge or a gogi? I don't know how to pronounce it. Values like taught to show no pain, no mercy. These things help you out in life. If you work at like a wagey job and you're showing annoyance and pain and, and you're complaining all the time, then your bosses are like, oh, he's a weak candidate for a promotion. I mean, in the opening in teenager form, or may, I'm not even sure if he's a teenager at this point in the movie, but essentially he takes on a dire wolf with nothing more than a sharpened stick. No armor, no gear, no magic, no support, just solo kills a dire wolf and he one shots him. And then he returns to town. He's got the dire wolf armor. And they kneeled because he soloed the dire wolf. And then immediately it, it shows a campfire scene and they're all surrounding it and they're all like, hoo, hoo, and they're all just like pumped up and ready to go. It's so awesome. It sets up the good guys and the bad guys immediately. People are fighting for freedom and justice and truth. And the bad guys, the beast that approaches is, of course, made of men and spears and horses. And they want your freedom. They want your earth and water. They want you to kneel. Who never, ever been the knee, lads? Never, ever. Then the smug asshole rides into their town with the, you know, it's a bunch of skulls of, like, fallen kings. He's like, look at all my PvP kills, bro, and you're next if you don't bend the knee. And he's just like, nah, and he just kills them immediately by kicking them in the well. 
And the greatest thing is, is that's like the most remembered movie scene in this entire movie. Everyone knows that this is Sparta and he getting, you know, kicks the guy down the well. Everyone remembers that. This came out in what, 2006? And people still remember. It's iconic. Now, this movie does have a lot of undertones and kind of hidden messages underneath the surface that people might not notice unless they've watched it 10 million times like me. But it's not something that I'm comfortable discussing on YouTube, unfortunately. That's just how YouTube is, and I'm sorry, I can't really go into those topics. Every scene where the characters interact with each other just feels genuine. Like when the emissary comes with his whip and he's like, oh, oh, your sons will be slaves, but you will be dead men. Our arrows will blot out the sun. The other Spartan is just like grinning ear to ear. And he's just so happy that he gets to fight and kill and be part of an epic battle. He's just ready for it. You can just feel the bloodlust. And then finally, when the movie f takes a huge paradigm shift, if I remember right, it's at 44 minutes and 29 seconds, and it is, uh, there's like an earthquake, and the, and the captain's like, Earthquake! And it's like, no, captain. Battle formations. And then the music just starts slapping. And this is the first time the movie actually shows you what they are up against. They are 300 guys. Just 300 people. I mean, you've played MMORPGs if you're watching this video, most likely. 300 is like the amount of people in a small town in a video game. But then you look at this scene where it shows the mountains, and they're just completely covered, just shoulder to shoulder with enemies. And then you got the Spartans, they're not scared, they're like hype as hell, they're like, yes, finally we get to be glorious for Sparta, we get to stab and kill and grunt and yell, and it's just gonna be awesome. And I love the intensity of Leonidas' speech. This is where we hold them, this is where we fight, this is where they die! And then the big line is, remember this day, men, for it will be yours for all time. And I've tried so much when I play video games to just remember that one sentence every time I play video games I you got to make memories so that it will be yours for all time it's the most valuable thing you can possibly have and then you know for a second it turns into a comedy because it's like Spartans lay down your weapons and then of course he gets one shot and it's like Persians come and get them it's just too funny the this the theater I was at when I saw this on a midnight showing just went wild at this scene and you just know the Spartans had fun in this scene because it's like a bunch of undergeared, short, weak guys with no muscle are charging you with literal paper shields. And you have copper, I believe, shields and iron weapons. And they're just like, OK, time to start stabbing. Now, here's a fun fact. OK, the scene opens where a bunch of soldiers charge into the shield phalanx wall and uh, then they suddenly stop. Now, here's a fun little trick that you can do with your bros if you're, like, at a bar or you just want to show off and pretend to be a strong man. What you do is you brace your arms against a wall and you arch your back a bit, and you tell all of your friends, at least, like, four or five of them, to push you into the wall. Like, you can make a bet with them. You can be like, okay, guys, so what you're going to do is you're going to push as hard as you can on my back and try to slam my chest into the wall, you know, and if you do, I'll give you five bucks or whatever, right? And then when one person obviously can't do it because of leverage, then you have, uh, you get everyone involved. You, you get everyone at the party or at the bar involved and you're like, okay, so you're going to push on my back and then that person's going to push on your back and that person's going to push on his back and so on and so forth. And, and this does not work. This, it, the, it scientifically does not work. It's a party trick, really. If someone knows this, then they can call you out on it. But essentially, um, no matter how many p people are pushing on each other's backs, that power does not transfer into you unless they start flattening themselves. So in this scene where all these soldiers charge into the phalanx wall and then stop, that's realistically what would happen in that situation. And the movie does a good job of showing this because you don't see the soldiers behind the front wall pushing on the Spartans in front of them. No, they're just busy backing up and spearing everyone in front of them. And then the part when the archers come in and just rain down arrows on the Spartans and they just hold up their shields and start laughing while all the wounded soldiers on the ground, the, you know, Persians are just dying and... Like, imagine that. You're just laying on the ground dying, and the last thing you hear is your enemy just laughing their ass off. And then the battles continue against many, many different opponents. You got the Immortals, which are like Asian leper, dual-wielding, like, ninjas. You've got the Zulu warriors, the battle mounts, like the rhinos and the elephants. You've even got a weird choppy head 
big guy that looks like an abomination from World of Warcraft. The movie just has such a creative cast of different enemies featured. It's not just humans versus humans, you know. It's like creatures and big tall monsters and all sorts of wild crazy things. Pot throwing grenaders and stuff. As a longtime gamer, when the battle elephants with the archers on top came around, I couldn't help but think of Age of Empires. That's exactly what they are, war elephants. And the fight choreography is just great. It doesn't cut away when someone's getting killed. It doesn't, like, do 20 million different scene cuts to show one fight. It's just a continuous, fluid sword fight with limbs flying and blood everywhere. Like, the part where the captain's son gets beheaded and then he goes wild and blood drunk, it's all one scene, no cuts. He just walks forward and starts killing people. It's great. And then, of course, it cuts to the other enemy's camp, where it should opens with a literal goat furry playing a string instrument and a bunch of other degenerate acts. And then the movie even has the balls to show a, I don't know how to word this, struggle scene, which most movies will not ever dare show these days. And during the next campfire scene, the captain says basically that his heart is filled with hate and Leonidas is just like, good, good for you, bro. And this is like the only movie you will ever see or hear where it's like they're not saying, oh, revenge bad, hate bad, ooh, killing bad. No, it's like, good, good. I'm glad that you hate them. Let's go kill them all. <laughs> and then as the movie comes to a close, a recurring theme is that Leonidas is constantly being bribed with power, money, fame, luxury. And he turns it all down because he stands for what he believes in and what his people believe in. And that's just very powerful. And then you have the closing lines of the battle. It's, it's been an honor to die at your side. And he's like, it's been, an, it's been an honor to have lived at yours. It's powerful. It's very powerful. The power of friendship and kinship and your brothers at arms. But it's not just the movie that makes it so great. It's also the amount of seed that it caused in, in like the movie like scene. Like all the, it immediately identifies the soy boy Redditor types that reviewed the movie negatively, like on Rotten Tomatoes. Like just go to Rotten Tomatoes and look at the reviews and look, and you'll see people that are like, oh, it's a faces thing. It's an army recruiting film. Oh, it's professional wrestlers plugging their next feud. Every single person that's like a top critic that like reviewed this badly are just, you know, you know how they are politically. Like the only ever bad review that I saw of this movie that would I would say is fair is someone complaining that basically the entire movie was filmed around green screens. And that's true. They didn't use, you know, real, you know, actual locations or anything. And, and you know, that just kind of sped up the creation process. It's, uh, it's the same people that complain I make videos on the test server on Albion, basically. But anyway, that's all I've got for this video. I just wanted to share my favorite movie of all time and how I felt about it and just talk about it a little bit. I don't know. Just something to do, something to make a video about. Hope you enjoyed me hearing me talk about it. Uh, the background footage is Albion Online. If you're curious, I make videos about that on my channel. And that's all I've got. I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Videos every single day on this channel. Leave a like. I read every single comment. Tell me what you thought about the movie 300. Not the sequels or not the old one. Not the spoof or the comedy parody. The actual original 300 movie. Let me know what you th thought about that movie. I'm curious. I want to know. With that said, on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. So go ahead and watch that video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss tomorrow's video. Take care.